Hello again, Rodney Reynolds, and this is in response to the uh, video I released on Friday about the HIS um, 58.7T video card versus the EVGA GTX 295 video card. Now, when I was doing those results, um, the HD 58.7 video card really surpassed the GTX 295. Now, this was to my surprise as well, and I retested and tested it over and over again and got the same result. Now, I have two of these GTX uh, 295 video cards here, so I'm going to now test the other one and see maybe if the other one has any different results than the first one because maybe the first GTX 295 video card wasn't configured properly or was defective or something was going on with the drivers. So I'll test the other video card for GTX 295 and see what happens. Uh, I should have results up later today or tomorrow. Um, and this is a response really to the uh, latest. Uh, results video I just released. A lot of people very, um, um, how should I say, disturbed about the performance of the GTX 295, and I was as well. I was very surprised. I have a couple of these in my system, which I've been using for months, and um, they've been excellent. Some people say that I'm an API fanboy. I'm not. Um, I've had GTX 295s in my system for months and months and months. Uh, which is NVIDIA product, not ATI. So I'm not pro ATI or pro NVIDIA. I just do benchmarks and report the results. But maybe something was wrong with the first GTX video card that I had, or something was configured incorrectly, or something that I missed. I'm not quite sure. But what I will do is install the other GTX video card that I have and do the results again and uh, go from there. <clears throat> if they're different, I'll remove the other video and I'll post the new one with the brand new results.